this tea, this tea, all this tea. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see with the tea, with the tea, with the tea. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all about it. We, it's another real talk video. Hey, this one is a little bit more on the serious side. This one is Yep, for everybody who is dating and, you know, looking to, you know, find yourself in the dating scene. Like, yeah, this this is for you. Um, the only thing is, please watch this video if you are serious about getting somebody and starting a life, a real life with a real relationship. Not while you are still thinking of becoming a savage and living your best life and jumping from here to here to here. If that's the case, then this video is not for you. But if you are very serious about dating and potentially finding somebody that you can start something long term with, then definitely watch this video. So this video is about dating with a purpose. Yeah, with a purpose. You want to watch? Watch the video. Okay, so let's start by understanding what dating with a purpose is. Dating with a purpose is pretty much taking the word dating, but looking at it from a higher consciousness, looking at it from a higher level. Um, so you're not dating just to be having fun and moving on to the next one. Of course, serious about this one. You are dating with potentially finding somebody that you can start something long term with. I am so sorry, child. So I was reading an article online somewhere ni, 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 at some point in my life. And I came across this really, really great article with great points, which some I agreed completely with. Because if you are looking to date with a purpose, I've got some pointers for you that I'm going to mention today, which you need to ingrain in yourself and believe in yourself so that you can date with a purpose, with a reason. Don't just date for just dating. Shall we start with the first point? I feel like I'm rambling. Okay, let's go. So the first thing that I would definitely recommend is get serious. If you are looking to date with a purpose, that means you are telling yourself that enough with the fooling around, enough with the playing around, approach dating from a serious perspective. And the only way you can do this, you need to believe it in yourself and believe that your efforts will be rewarded. Believe that what you do and what you bring to the table in terms of dating will be rewarded if you take it seriously enough. If you are saying that, oh yeah, I want to date with a purpose, but then I still can go on this date and that date and the other date and the other date with just, just all willy-nilly, then you're not really dating with a purpose. You're just moving from here to here to here to there to here to there. You know what I mean? However, if you are serious about finding love, you are moving from just dating aimlessly to actually dating in the hopes of finding love, then you definitely need to tell yourself that and get serious about your dating life. Because in that way, when you believe that your efforts will be uh, rewarded by finding love and finding a long-term truthful and successful relationship, then you definitely need will be uh, motivated by feeling that you're going to be rewarded. So get serious. Stop fooling around. Eh? Okay. The second point that I want to mention is learn about yourself. So once you've decided to get serious first, before moving on to someone else and seeing what that person is about and blah, 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 you need to know about yourself first. Self-love, self-discovery, right? Self-love is the very first romance. You need to discover what it is that you want in terms of dating, in terms of a partner, in terms of who you are, what you will allow, what you will tolerate, what you want from a partner, a long-term partner, or from love, right? So you need to first learn those key integral points before you just decide that, no, I want to learn about this person, what, 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 what. Do you know who you are? Do you know what you want from love? Do you know, you feel me though, I'm just, so you need to learn about those things first. Very, very, very important. The next point is define your ideal mate. Now, it may seem cliche to say pros, cons, what you want, what you don't want, what you want, what you need. But it is very, very important to define who your ideal mate 
will be like these are the points that i'm getting from this article that i read and i really feel like they apply to me because i look for things like that you need to define what you want so what is it write down on a piece of paper what do i want from a partner and what do i need do i need financial these these are just examples do i need financial security do i need love do i need trust do i need loyalty do i need um you know somebody who's good looking or is that a want you know what do i want i want him to be buff i want him to to make a six figure salary i want him to da da da, da. these are wants you might not get chances are you will not get everything you want in terms of wants and needs in one package we don't live in that kind of world okay it's not like that a life in but once you know what you want in an ideal mate it becomes very easy to narrow down the people that you are dating so that you can see that mm, nah, you won't quite cut it maybe you hmm okay i'm willing to look overlook this and i'm willing to overlook that and blah 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 you need to define your ideal mate before you go ahead pursuing and looking for that ideal mate because you need to know what you're looking for. So if you go out there aimlessly thinking, ah, you know what, I just want to, I just want to find somebody I can love without really knowing what you want from that person and what you want from love, then I get shem sauce. First, define what you want from a person. Uh, point number four is, could you please let go of the past? Go to that ex-boyfriend that's busy calling you, calling you, calling you, and because you're dating and you're thinking, ah, Mara, I, I don't have somebody, what's the rest? You're entertaining this ex-boyfriend, even though you know that you know the reasons why you ended that relationship. Why do you think that coming back to that relationship a second, third, fourth time around will be any different? So you need to let go of the past. You need to tell yourself that, listen, I'm on a higher consciousness of dating right now. I am looking to find love. I'm not looking to just aimlessly date someone for the fun of it. I'm looking to find love. And once you reach that point, you need to tell yourself that, you know what? I need to let go of the past. I need to let go of this ex because this ex is not good for me. And he has in a stressor and this and that and the other. You cannot start a new chapter for yourself, for your life, internally, emotionally, physically out there while you're still entertaining another chapter. You honestly need to let go and close the one door before you open the other because at the end of the day, then you're sitting with 15,000 people who are calling you and how do you get serious about dating? How are you then dating with the purpose of finding love or finding long lasting romance or relationship with someone new if you're still entertaining your thoughts from the past? I'm a thoughties, I'm a savages. Don't do that. Let go of the past and tell yourself that you are starting clean on a fresh slate and then get it get going, get it going, get it going, get it going. Hey. After you've decided to let go of the past, go on dates. Girl, there is nothing wrong with going on dates. My sister loves to say to me that, listen, when someone is going on a date, they're going on a date, they're getting themselves a free meal, a free Starbucks, a free whatever. You're going on a date, you're getting to know someone. And then you're going on a date the next week and you're getting to know someone else. You are dating. It doesn't necessarily mean you're spreading yourself too thin. No, you're not. You're dating in the purpose of finding what will work for you. I mean, dating one person doesn't necessarily mean that that's what will work for you. Like we said, you have a list, right, of your perfect ideal mate by this time. You have that list. So when you look at that list and you look at this one person that you're dating, you think, I, but this person doesn't even take like half, half of this list. Then why restrict yourself to just dating that one person? Go on multiple dates. Get out. Go out with your friends. Meet people. If your friends are like, let's go to Mabone, Let's go to, uh, you know, wherever. Let's go to Rockets. Let's go to wherever. Go out. Dress up. Feel good. Always, always tell yourself that you are out there and you're looking for love and you're looking for it the right way. Don't just, you know, but if you go on dates, that's when you will realize that, okay, this will work for me or this won't work for me or this will work for me or this won't work for me. But you will only know that if you go on multiple dates and not really just one date with one person every two, three weeks. I live your life. You're not being a hoe. You're not being a thotty. You're not being a nothing. You're just going on a date today. 
and two days later, and then three days later. You are, as long as you just keep things in your pants. All right, all right, go on dates, meet people, get the feel of what it is that you want, and then from there you'll narrow down that, okay, this one is the one that seems to work for me, and then live your best life. Then the last point I want to mention is adopt a positive mindset and persevere. Now these points are all, I'm not even taking credit for this, these points are all coming from here and from this article that I read, which is on my phone right now. But these points are all coming from there and I agree with them, that's why I want to share this with you. So adopt a positive mindset and persevere. I know dating can be so exhausting. Can you imagine telling five people that your favorite thing is A, B, CD and your favorite color is blue and you love to travel and you love to go out and you love to do this and 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 um, your favorite animals are this or your favorite yo it's exhausting I know it's exhausting I know it's exhausting but at least you are adopting that positive mindset that you know what I'll find that person that I'm looking for there is nothing wrong with just telling yourself that I am doing this because I am attempting to find what I'm looking for. I am attempting to find love. There is nothing wrong with that. And you know, we are women. We always have people that are, you know, trying to get, <laughs> people that are trying to get, you know, with us, with us. And it's exhausting to keep trying with this one and this one and this one and keep feeling like you're failing. But at the end of the day, you're not failing. You're looking for something that is real, that is true, that is long lasting. You're not looking to be playing around. So if you're not looking to be playing around, give yourself that opportunity. Give yourself that time. Give yourself that energy. Just keep... No, so guys, that's all I'm saying. You know, once I get to that's all I'm saying, that's all I was saying, girl. You know that the video is over. But that's honestly all I was saying. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what else. Are you dating for a purpose? Or are you still like living your best life? I mean, you can date with a purpose and live your best life, but are you still trying to be a savage and a thotty? Which one is it? Let's talk, let's share. You know, I love it, I love it, I love you guys. I'm wearing the same sweater, I just realized that I was, because because it's real talk, we're kind of getting cozy, right? We're getting cozy, we're chatting. It's like two friends chatting. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely, subscribe also click the notification bell to know when my videos go up share this video with a friend who is dating and just kind of feels like down in the dumps about dating feels like they're not meeting the right person if this video is for you i hope you enjoyed it and i'm gonna go finish off my tea and have me some lunch well it's actually breakfast for me because i haven't eaten all day but i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you very very soon in the next one take care date to the purpose and i hope you find the love that you're looking for Bye.